Hello everybody and welcome back. What I can see is that Alonso or well the Admiral made a pact with the devil here coming out from the Pirates Co from Anne Harlow and yeah he definitely made a pact with her because he's trading with the Pirate. Alright Admiral you can't get any lower in my esteem but still here you are. We are at war with them anyway right? We're still at war with all of them. As I said there is no exception to that. And we're still trying well to get along here. At the moment it's looking rather good. Um, we have now a frigate coming up there as well. We do have a bit of bread again. So I will be able now to upgrade my workers even more. And my flagship here, Proud Buckthorn, is on the way now to the New World. And hopefully makes a successful expedition. So we can finally settle there as well for all the coffee and chocolate that we need. So let's continue with the upgrading, upgrading a few more, these guys here around the school especially, and there we have them a few more. This will now unlock us certainly the repair crane, let's just have a look at that, there it is. It does take though 25 more steel beams, that's a lot though. Don't we have a cheaper one available? I don't think so. But it's worth a shot, and nope we don't. What we have though is now, is I forget, our very first one. Audacious it's called and it is a proud ship indeed so we do have a nice little fleet there and the next one is coming up soon as well we could also sell them if we need the money but as we can see right now we don't there's a quest for us from the residents when she's not at church giving the von Tripp children music lessons my daughter Maria likes to go singing and picking Edelweiss in the hills I do so hate to interrupt her lessons with the children but I need her here in the workshop all right, Maria is once again collecting some Edelweiss and it seems like we, well, finished this quest right away. Because what happened here is that the child is within the radius of one of my warehouses. And since this island is so small, well, we just got it right away. Very convenient for us. Now, Katan is still looking fine. We have quite a lot of stuff here. Um, lots of workers. Fish is down now though, so we should add another fishery because I still want to continue upgrading a few more of these workers then. Then we continue here. We do have a nice defense. We should ramp up that defense soon though. And yeah, what I can see is in Catan, we do have lots of space actually. We have the workforce. So I might actually just have my green farms then here, right? That are consuming a lot of space in Rosario. And we could use this space for an even bigger town. If we want that or actually of course we want that so having these grain farms there might make sense and then we just deliver the grain or the flowers to Rosario even though I think the flour mill costs bricks yes but having the grain farm here might make, make sense so we could do this we could do this right away we have the farmer workforce here and we do have the timber we don't have that much timber so it's good starters to have a bridge first and a second bridge that is something I wanted to do for quite some time now anyway. And then we have a huge and very long the street. Island is under sea. Just around the mountain. And there is some fighting once again. Alonso is actually trying to take this island. And he will succeed at that. He's going to take this now. I just so love it when these opponents are actually fighting each other. And as we can see, he's actually taking this island. From Miss Hunt. She put she didn't put any defense on here, so that's her fault, more or less. And it's a good island with all the hops. There she there he's taking it. The problem is now it's on a cooldown for 30 uh, minutes, so we cannot take it. Um after that we will probably take it though. And put some defenses on because it's the hops plenty or the hops island. We can now commission another frigate. My gunboats actually are repaired soon again fully. And let's actually sell them or sail them to Archie now and sell the items that we got that we looted from his hunt. The pirate is a bit too close to my island. I don't like that too much. And yeah, what we should do, because we have the money, we have the workforce, we should ramp up our steel beams production. Right now we have one steel works. How's the steel looking? We still have plus one steel, so I think having another steelworks is working and we can just squeeze it in here as we can see. And now we have another factory producing us some steel beams. Very good. Let's just have a look also at the artisans. 
Those artisans have a lot of needs now, so they want some canned food, some sewing machine. That is something that I will not produce here, but in Catan. And some fur coats. Now, fur coats, we would need some fur. And that is even harder than hops. There we have some fur on this little cute island. And that's probably it then. Yep. And look what Miss Hunt did here. She actually settled in Milk Church. Well, she lost this Hobbs Island, of course. She needs Hobbs as well, so she, she settled here. Um, and the cool thing is we can just take it now. Well, well, otherwise we would have to, to build it ourselves. Well, costing a lot of money and resources. And in this way, she will certainly not build any defense here anytime soon. We do have another frigate up there as well soon. And then we can also go with the gunboats. We could also purchase a clipper now for 15,000. I'm not doing that though. Let's just see. Let's sell 7,500. Also, these sales, I really don't need them. 4,500. That's a nice, hard-earned money that we just got there. Let's send the gunboats back again to Rosario. Well, well, well. When looking around at the wall, I can see that all my opponents are now really ramping up their ship production. Also, the Admiral has a very nice city defense here that we definitely need to keep up with. Also, Alonso, as we can see, he's still roaming the oceans there as well. Um, fighting Miss Hunt, hopefully, at the moment. We got our next frigate out here as well. Um, we might actually... No, let's wait for the next frigate then. Um, and since we do have a few weapons, I would also like to ramp up my product, uh, well, my defense there. So we do have a cannon tower. Um, in that case, let's have that cannon tower then here as well. As a little defense for us. Let's just check also the statistics. Alonso is stronger than us, but we are stronger military, uh, well, economically wise. Uh, Miss Hunt, she is, well, it's the same, usually, the Admiral, and Miss Hunt is the same as well. So all of them are pretty strong military-wise, stronger than us at the moment, but on the other hand, we have the best economy overall. And of course, we should try to keep it that way. We do have the grain farms here. I'm now inclined, though, to go for Catan here as my grain production. Before I do that, I want to reach the clippers though. Without the clippers, I cannot do that. The schooner is just way too slow to do that, especially since the waters are looking quite dangerous there. So what I will do is, well, we do need to upgrade a few more um, workers there you to artisans. A new milestone. And thus we have reached the city status. Beautiful. Rosario is now a city and that means we have unlocked the zoo and the museum as well. For Oh, actually only the zoo for now. Right, we could build a zoo now, but I have no idea where I should place that, to be honest. Let's just check the statistics real quick, because we've upgraded, and after every upgrade, I'd like to check if anything changed here, and at the moment, it's still looking jolly good. And I must Her Majesty had lost enough already without also losing King Svalbard as a trade partner. The saboteurs of our once doughty bond must be met head-on. A destruction quest for 13,000 credits. Let's just see, it's two frigates actually that he wants me to destroy. Down here, this is pretty hard though, for 13,000 credits, two frigates. I don't have that much stronger a fleet though, so I'm not entirely sure that I want to take this. We still need to get another frigate out there at least. And this is going to take a bit more time since we just built a city defense here. And this costs of course also some weapons. No idea for now. What I'm a bit afraid though right now is also Catan here. Since everybody's got a much stronger fleet now. We should also get another tower up here in Catan as well. So let's just check real quick for the defense here. So that's 10 tons of bricks, some steel beams and 10 tons of weapons. And we should get that over to Catan there also for one of these cannon towers. Because they are really, really strong against any kind of ship really. And we want to have one of them in Catan there as well. And my expedition requires our attention. Let's just check that. The mad preacher, your chaplain is going overboard with his preaching, blaming the expedition's mishaps and misfortunes on the supposed heresy of the ship's officers. The man of faith manages to rouse the gradual distrust and anger of the sailors. His preaching is now part of the crew's daily routine. His words find an echo in the mouths of the sailors, and the lieutenants can see their authority slipping away and demonstrate that his doubts are fueled by mental illness with schnapps. Sickening. All right, the man of faith belongs in an asylum. Your doctor interrupts the chaplain's daily sermon and accuses him of megalomania, listing the traits of the madness, the sire for attention, a craving for control, and an overwhelming urge to rouse the paranoia of others in order to match one's own. 
The portrait is a perfect depiction of the chaplain and, despite their former affection of the man, the sailors agreed that he should be sedated with laudanum for the rest of the trip. <laughs> Alright, so we put the chaplain under alcohol, that he keeps quiet, and we lost a bit of morale there, but that's fine. The expedition can continue. Archie has some New beautiful clippers emerald. there. We might actually purchase one. Oh, boy, there's a frigate now. A frigate, and there we have the clipper. I want the clipper. Let's purchase ready. the clipper. We can afford it, we do have a bit of money. Um, and in that case, it will now open up our green production then that we can have. Um, let's just also see real quick if we can sell something. Or actually, let's get the bricks. Some 20 tons of bricks, some steel beam and some 10 tons of weapons to Catan. And this ship now goes over there. As we can see, oh, oh, very good actually. The quest is coming in on my harbor defenses, or actually they're attacking me it seems. Well in that case I don't have to fear anything because it's two frigates and they of course cannot take out a harbor defense tower and the harbor itself. So there is a frigate going down. And the other one standing its ground, not giving up yet. But of course it's also going down. Okay, the problem solved itself more or less for us. So my ships are now going to Katan, are going to deliver the building resources and then ship back with the proof to Archie for some money. This gunboat is also coming dangerously close into my fleet and is definitely going down because of that. Taking quite some hits though. Is under sea. And down it is. So there's quite a lot of battles here. That is when you have so many opponents. And once again, Alonso is attacking Miss Hunt here. He's taking the next island, I think. This one still has 14 minutes of cooldown before I can take it. And yep, it seems like he's going to win this one once again. Miss Hunt, what is up? She's not keeping up there with Alonso. My fleet, meanwhile, is coming in now to Catan, where there is the proof also for our quest that we want. Very good. There's also some pirates close by. I should not fear about them right now. And the Admiral is coming in here also. That was a mistake, because this gunboat, of course, is going down. Well, I deliver now the building resources in Catan. Let's do this, and then we can collect the proof right away. They should really be able to destroy this one though. What's going on here? It seems like none of the gunboats really wants to fight. You can rely on us. Only my frigate is doing the job. And doing a good job at that, because that gunboat sure is going down now. Beautiful. Actually, it also left us some loot there once again. We also have the proof now. With the proof, I'm going to sail home now to Archie. The gunboats will defend the frigate. And this frigate here just gets the... Well, some loot. Hopefully something profitable. But from a gunboat, I'm not expecting too much. What is that? A banner of La Corona. And this is... Yeah, character item. It's not really something we need. And I certainly don't want to have Corona on my bo boat. So let's just throw it overboard and continue on our way back. What we can do in the meantime is finally build ourselves the cannon tower and let's just place it then somewhere over here as well. Right, let's place it as far into the ocean there as possible so as we can see that we can even hit the ships that are on this side there and this will definitely cripple the admiral's capabilities of maneuvering around the, the map here because it can't take this corridor anymore without heavy damage from this tower there exactly what we wanted and we even have the resources for a second tower and I'm going to do that here as well. So we have two towers here now defending Catan there and then two innermost towers for further protection. The expedition continues the predator. A fearsome predator stalks us, the cabin boy whispers. Perhaps he's right for this resupply has not been as uneventful as hoped. Only the first evening moored in this bay and a man goes missing. Tracks up the beach into jungle. Many wonder how work can be expected to continue. We could lay a trap. Thanks to that we have wool. Let's try this. The beast is too intelligent. 
to fall for makeshift traps, it is clearly evading the pitfall prepared by those supposed to be the expedition's deftest craftsmen. Little more we can do, they shrug. We could send in some hunters without equipment, we could speak with the locals without any items, or we could leave this island, which would leave, uh, lead to certain morale loss. Let's send some... Well, let's speak with the locals. Their deity is desecrated, urges the officer, sent as diplomat. All around the bay, dopped faces appear, bows raised to the expedition camp. <laughs> Run for the ship or teach them a lesson. We don't really have any equipment for fighting though. Let's run for the ship. Run comes the panicked cry. We lost 10% morale here. That's still better than probably 20% if we lost for sure. And the men drop their work and tramp desperately through the shallows to the ship. A volley of arrows pierces three, squirting crimson into the clear blue. That aside, we have lost a great deal more in provisions than we have gained, laments the quartermaster as your ship departs that wretched bay. At least we still are on our track here with well, over 50% morale. That is something. My ships are on their way back. And I hope that I will be able to build another frigate soon. We do have the clipper here. With the clipper, what we can do right away is we can, well, sell a few things for Archie to make a bit of money there. We have, as we can see, lots of sales actually. Um, we do have lots of iron that I might want to sell. We have some schnapps that is worth something. And I think some bread? Where's my bread? There's bread. Now we don't have enough bread. Let's sell some a few more sails. Right, that's a lot of money on the way back to Archie. And for that, in exchange, we might actually go with the frigate then. It's still on sale. Right, so my ships are under attack by what? All fine for now. There are some pirates here as well. But they're evading us. They're not trying to get any closer to my frigates there. Very smart of them. What I want to do meanwhile in Catan is build my new um, grain farms. So for that we do have the warehouse then here. And just around it we do have then a few of these grain farms. And I think what we might need is those four. Let's actually go with all six of them. And the cool thing is we can also copy that just to another island, that whole layout, so that I don't have to build that once again. And then we just place it here. We might actually place it up here as well. The space would be there, a but here we have a bit more space. Withstood an attack. Plus here we still have space then for expansion. So let's build them here. And there we got these four grain farms working already. And I will probably way. just finish the other two there as well. It's really not expensive. Right, -o. so Archibald, let's that turn in the quest. We get some 13,000 credits and an import tax reduction act for the town hall that boosts our tax income there a bit. Ready for a well, let's just sell what we got on the clipper. Yeah, that's around 3.8. Three Very good. A bit of money at least. Let's purchase some bricks with that. We are desperately low on bricks for 3,500. That is totally fine. Let's get back with that to my harbor. We can build now another frigate. Let's get it up there. And what I think we will be doing now then also is building the trade route since we do have the grain farms. But let's just wait on that now. And my statistics. Fish is fine, schnapps, work clothes, sausage, bread and soap is all still fine. Let's upgrade. Let's upgrade a few more of these workers to artisans. And we've also unlocked the shipyard AI now, but that is something we certainly don't need to build for the moment, as, at least as long as we have those three heavy and strong opponents. Also, the Admiral got a nice little fleet here. Oh, well, I think it's better to just build or well, purchase that frigate there as well. Then we have four frigates now with the one coming out there as well. Right, that clipper here called Fear, that is a fitting name for clipper, I guess is here and is going to be on that trade route though I fear I fear for this trade route if he really patrols here with those gunboats they can take out a clipper they can certainly do that expedition tavern troubles these hoodlums are asking for it to each harbor its own ill-famed tavern and this one is no exception while your crew enjoys a beer at the counter the tavern store slams open the bartender stiffens and the volume of conversations dwindles the newcomers are regulars of the bad kind 
One of the scruffy men elbows your doctor and gra gasps at the alcohol splashed on his unkempt clothes. He immediately grabs your sailor by the collar and demands an apology. Offer them a drink. Well, we don't have anything to offer, but let's just try it. Bribing them with alcohol doesn't seem to work. Your crew invites the man to sit and share a beer on them to try and bring the tension down. The thug doesn't let go of the doctor and points at the aligned liquors behind the bartender. A glass of all of these, he says, and a bottle of your best whatever. That's way more than they can drink and way more than your sailors can afford. Alright, if it's a fight they want, they'll get one. This is not a very successful expedition so far. We lost another 10%. And the crew overestimated themselves. As he calls for the other sailors to help, the doctor gets his head smashed into the counter. His crewmates scream for revenge and look like toddlers agitating their little arms to try and hit the big bad guys. The thugs are not in a mood to play along. And one of them stabs a bawling sailor in the liver to make them shut up. They slowly die as the thugs depart, leaving the tavern in a stupor. <laughs> right. And we're going to lose another 5 morale here because we use some extra... Rations. How much morale do we still have? 37%. We cannot, we cannot fail at the New World's Expedition. Come on. So far so good. My grain farms are now starting their production. I'm going to have a trade route soon, but I will have probably to deal with these gunboats there um, before I can do that. And then we save a bit of space here and continue building our city because it, my city still wants to grow. Stay tuned.